Coming up on today's episode... Hi, good morning YouTube. Here with you on a Monday morning. It is 10.34 now, looks like, in the morning. Uh, 10.33 actually. Um, looking at the uh, big clock. I got that fixed. I don't know if I showed you. Did I show you that or not? It's up there. It's working now. I got the new battery in it and uh, it's working pretty good. So that's good. This is a, a image or image. Um, the uh, new uh, mount for the antenna as I promised I was going to be doing. I uh, still have to uh, tend these wires and connect them up but other than that it's pretty much ready to go uh, and that's what I'm getting ready to do I'm getting ready to hook up the power and the uh, filament voltage power and we're gonna have another test of this now I am I'm recording this but if this does not work I will not show this because there's no sense in it um, you know going through all this crap again uh, just for another bunch of a little uh, video that's not working is not really making any sense to me so anywho that's the deal if uh, I will let you know if it works I mean I'll tell you but uh, if it if it works we'll we'll go ahead and play around with it a little bit and see what we can find out but if it doesn't well you know we tried apparently this is just not gonna work if it doesn't work and that's just the size of it uh, you know, for whatever reason, uh, I really see no good reason. Now this this wire I still haven't clipped off, but I'm going to clip that off because it doesn't really need to be there. See no reason for it. Uh, I can tell. So let's get that off there right quick. There we go. I don't know if you've even seen that or not, but I clipped that wire off. So, uh, like I say, the uh, I've got to do the uh, tend the wires and the connect where they go, where they go. Uh, the one goes. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to set this up. I haven't decided yet. Kind of like to set it that way. That's pretty stable that way, and I, I can get the tuning going and everything else. And I think that will allow me to. Maybe do it this way. Hmm, I don't know yet. May have to connect some, I think I'm going to connect some jumpers for these here. Uh, because, you know, they're just too far away. Uh, too short the wires are, so. Alright, let me uh, get that all done, set up and everything. I'll bring you back. Alright, well I do have it hooked up now. It is, I'm going to say it's working. Um, it's just not picking any stations up. I have it hooked up to the uh, HP signal generator at 1390. Um, it's 30% modulation running. And uh, you can hear it on the, I'll turn it up a little bit. I'm going to turn the uh, signal strength down just a little bit and see what happens there. Yeah, it went away. See if we can turn back up and get it. No, it's not coming back. Not coming back. So anyway, it's working pretty good that way. I don't get a station at all, though. Uh, I, you can see here. I'm gonna turn it up just a hair more. You can see now when I tune it off frequency, what happens? So just is just tuned to that frequency. That is very sensitive. Also, that uh... so that part is working. Uh, that is hooked up to the secondary of the IF as before. Uh, I just don't get any stations. I should get my local station. I would think because that is 1390. Uh, I have tried to basically tune it to the middle of that as far as, you know, the setting and then try getting, uh, taking the, uh, what do you call it, off and uh, 
but that doesn't seem to work either like I said so there's your uh, I say there's your proof it does work as long as you're feeding in a, a decent hard signal and let's turn this off once and see what happens turn this up a little bit don't hear a thing as far as the radio station so that uh, tuning capacitor is just really sensitive also just barely t touch it and goes off the station so so you know I'm on the right direction let me turn this back on again so right there is our is our place turn it off again you can turn this up all you want I might hear a, a faint something in there I just can't hardly tell try moving the antenna a little bit So like I said, it is, uh, I don't know how, how much of a win that is, but it is, it is at least working. So, you know, that's partially a win, I guess. I can do the same thing on uh, 455, I believe. Uh, frequency 455 kilohertz. Well, maybe not. Should be able to get that as well. Uh, let's try turning it up a little bit. Nope. Does not seem to be picking up anything. So that's kind of odd. But again, we do know it works on uh, 1390. Let's put it on 1000 and see what we get. 1000 kilohertz. Now we'll have to retune the radio, but... As you can see, we, we, we are in a different spot, so... So that seems to be working. Let's just go a different one. Let's go um, 800. Oop. There it is. So the radio, the the this part is working it, it is tuning it is doing what it's supposed to do it's just not strong enough I don't know if it's the uh, I don't know if it's the uh, signal tracer is not strong enough to uh, amplify it or if it's just a not a not enough of uh, stage down the line I guess to get that um, amplification or whatever but it is working so you know I, I I don't know if if, uh, if it would help to hook it up to uh, the GE as far as seeing if that makes a difference or not. I may try that. I may just see if it does. Because like I said, it, obviously the, the 
what do you call it, does tune in different frequencies and that part of it seems to be working pretty well. It just does not seem to be working with the weak signal. And uh, I guess I would have thought the local station would have been plenty enough to uh, drive this thing, but uh, apparently it's not. So, uh, I don't know. I, I'm thinking very seriously about adding some legs to it and setting it up so I can uh, play around with it some more and add some permanent, more permanent connections to it. And like I said, it does work. That gives me hope uh, that it uh, works. And let's just try and see if I can find it anywhere else. No. Nope. So, you know, that part of it, like I say, that, that makes me hopeful. And uh, let's see what our voltage is going here. Uh... We are at 70, 70 volts. And that's good. Real good. So, happy about that. Um, that part of it seems to be holding up well. I guess the uh, battery is holding up well too. I mean, the uh, filament voltage. Because it seems to be working pretty good. So, that is... You know, another thing, I guess I could tweak the uh, uh, IF can. Try that. That might help a little bit. Uh, several things that I can try. We may try those later on. I don't know. But I did I did want to show you that it does work with the um, signal generator. And that's a really good sign, I think. A little unstable there, but that's okay. Got wires going here and there and everywhere else. Touching that uh, antenna wire really makes a di big difference in that. Take that off and route it over the top and see if that makes any difference at all. And it's not hooked up where it should be hooked up. It should be hooked up to the tuning capacitor. I've got it hooked up to the wire that goes to the tuning capacitor. So that that probably has something to do with it as well. It's kind of hard to get to. Well, like I said, it's it's just a matter of getting that wire on. Oops, I had it right in the hole. I can't see what I'm doing half the time either. There we go. Like I say, there's your uh, proof of concept, I guess is what I would say. I'm going back to 1390. Turn that up.
All right, well, it makes me wonder how, how good that antenna is. I guess I could hook up uh, the other antenna, see if that makes any difference. Let's try that and see what happens. Let me hook that up real quick. I'll bring you right back. All right, well, the other antenna doesn't make any difference. Uh, can't get anything with it either. Like I said, it's uh, is what it is, I guess. Touch that to ground. Let's see what that does. No effect. Anyway, that's a look at the. Uh, we know it does work. It just doesn't work well. Uh, part of that has to do with the uh, circuitry, I think, as far as. Uh, like I said, there was a lot of these radios that uh, were made with a um, an additional RF amp, and that would certainly help in this case. But like I said, it should not prevent us from getting. Uh, I don't think a local station. So as to why that's not happening, I'm not really sure. But again, it may be the uh, IF transformer is way out of tune. Bob seemed to think, and. Uh, yeah, I can I can see why he said that because that one uh, this one right here is all the way up at the top and that may be part of the problem I don't know so I may do a little bit more tuning around with that to see but that certainly would would keep us from getting probably our, our weaker station uh, you know we get the strong uh, signal generator signal but uh, not the weaker station so I'm going to get off here for now and let you know that at least it does work somewhat. And our, our, our uh, circuitry seems to be functioning as it should be. It tunes stations. Well, it tunes uh, the signal generator. <laughs> but it does tune and it does have output. So that's a win for me. I'm, I'm happy with that. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put this together and we'll put this up on the... Uh, internet and let you know that it is working somewhat and just maybe a matter of tweaking from here I don't know we'll, uh, I'll play around with this more this afternoon maybe and see if I can get the uh, the IF tuned in better and if that if it does work and uh, I get uh, a station or whatever I'll bring you back and let you know you guys have a great day thanks for watching and we will whoops see ya <laughs>